Lucifer, son of the morning, I'm gonna chase you off the earth. I'm gonna put on an iron shirt and chase up and out the earth. I'm gonna put on an iron shirt and chase the devil out the earth. I'm gonna send him to outer space. Please welcome our expert on astrophysical science, Rudolf Raumfart. He will solve the situation we have in Aston Teco regarding the toilet. Ja, vielen Dank für die nette Ankündigung, aber ich bin ja kein Raumfahrtexperte. Die haben nämlich einerseits Fragen gestellt und voraus und die haben wir hochgeschickt und dann stellen sie jetzt äh, zur 13. Get ready for impact. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Here is Delta Papa 9 Sierra calling Oscar Romeo 4 India Sierra Sierra. Do you copy? Over. Hier ist Delta Papa 9 Sierra calling Oscar Romeo 4 India Sierra Sierra. Do you copy? Over. Hier ist Delta Papa 9 Sierra calling Oscar Romeo 4 India Sierra Sierra. Do you copy? Over. Hier ist Delta Papa 9 Sierra calling Oscar Romeo 4 India Sierra Sierra. Do you copy? Over. Hier ist Delta Papa 9 Sierra calling Oscar Romeo 4 India Sierra Sierra. Do you copy? Over. Delta Papa 9 Sierra. Welcome to the National Jamboree of the Bund der Pfadfinderinnen und Pfadfinder. We can hear you loud and clear and go direct to the first question. What are the current research projects that you have on board the ISS? Which experiment are you carrying out? Over. What skills do you need to become an astronaut and how do you acquire them? Over. And Delta Papa 9 Sierra, uh, do you copy me? If, if you do, let me know and I will answer the question. What was the most important or the most spectacular scientific discovery made on the ISS up to now? Over. Over. Yes, and uh, so uh, important, most the spectacular scientific discovery made on ISS, there will be a long time to talk about this one, but we do research on every field, and every field, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a discovery. The important thing is not to discover Things is to discover things. This is what we are doing here. Over. 
What if somebody gets you sick? Over. Well, in case uh, somebody gets seriously sick, uh, we do have our spacecraft, our Soyuz spacecraft here on board. We can jump on the Soyuz spacecraft and get back to Earth in uh, f about four hours. What was your motivation to become an astronaut? Over. Yes, uh, I wanted to be an astronaut since I was uh, a kid and uh, nothing. This is just what I wanted to do. That's uh, what brought me here. Over. What was the most critical situation on the station so far? Over. Well, we don't, uh, we did not have that many critical situations. Uh, a few, a month ago, one of the pieces of equipment outside the station failed and we had to send out two people in a spacewalk to fix it. But it was not really, really, really critical. Over. Can you see our Jamboree site from space? And could it help if we shine a laser pen towards to the ISS? Over. Well, no, I cannot see the Jamboree I looked for, but I could not. Uh, it probably would help if I know exactly where it is, but it's very difficult here on the station going at 8 kilometers uh, per second. And it will not help if you have a laser, unless you have a really, really, really powerful one, which I, I, think, I don't think you have. Over. How do the constellation of the stars change compared to the view from the Earth? Over. Well, we are in space here, there is no atmosphere, so we see the stars uh, uh, brighter and better. We see more stars, uh, but not significantly different than what you are on Earth. Over. How often are you working outside in the space? Is it dangerous? Over. Well, uh, spacewalks uh, is, a, is, a, is, an, it's, is something that is not done every day. By the way, the Russian cosmonauts are doing a spacewalk in a couple of weeks. Um, we do it, let's say, every three or four months uh, as often as necessary. It is dangerous. Well, uh, okay, yeah, uh, if you work in an environment where, where everything can kill you, and if you have a problem, you have to come back uh, really quick. Uh, yes, I would say it's, uh, it's, uh, it's dangerous. Over. How do you show in space? Over. Well, you don't. You just uh, clean yourself, uh, taking a towel, putting a little bit of soapy water and brushing yourself in this way. There is no way to shower in space. So far. Over. Is it possible to see the romantic sunsets from the ISS, like from the Earth, or even polar lights? What about rainbows? Over. Well, the sunsets from the ISS are uh, different, very different than from Earth. Uh, the sun uh, goes away very, very fast. Uh, it, it's, it's actually diff different. It's, they are beautiful, but they are different. And we do see uh, polar lights, or um, um, yes, we do see the beautiful green lights uh, coming down. Uh, but not rainbows, because there is no atmosphere. Over. What happens when a meteorite hits the space station? Over. Well, if it is a very small meteorite, uh, it could uh, get uh, stopped by the shield that we have. And so far we had many and all have been uh, stopped. But if it will be really big, I would guess it will actually make a hole into the station and will start losing uh, air, which is not a good thing. Uh, so we have emergency procedure in case this happened, but it did not happen so far. Over. How does the food taste? Over. Well, food is uh, it's, it's decent. Uh, it's like camping food. I think uh, you guys are cooking a little bit and not eating just uh, cans. But here we have to eat uh, cans of, uh, of food that has been prepared on, on Earth or maybe one or two years before. It, it, was, it tastes okay. Over. When you are looking out of the window forward to Earth, do you sometimes think of your... Si of the significant insignificance of humanity or of your own insignificance over? Uh, yes, I, mean, I think uh, being up here gives you a new and different perspective. It allows you to see the Earth from far, far away, understanding that we are all together in this world. And uh, yes, you look, uh, I feel uh, even more smaller and insignificant. But, but all together, 
Would you make a great uh, contribution to Earth and we need to be careful on what we do to Earth? Over. What is the most annoying thing up there? Over. Well, the most annoying is that uh, sometimes you lose things. So microgravity, if you let something go, it can go anywhere and, uh, and it can be lost forever. So it's very annoying because you're working and suddenly you miss a tool and you cannot work. Over. What are you most excited about when you are back on Earth? Over. Well, uh, going back to Earth is a very good experience uh, and, uh, and be back on Earth means feeling again, being a, feeling a human being, so smelling things, eating something, go around with different people, do the things, uh, everyday things that here you cannot do. Over. How do you experience the day and night with them? Over. Well, uh, we have 16 nights and 16 days uh, in one single day here uh, on uh, in space, uh, and we usually don't feel it because we are inside working. But if you look outside, you see the night and day coming and going. In any case, we are looking at our watch to know what time of the day it is, and we use uh, UTC time, Universal Time. Over. Do you have plans? Over. Uh, not at the moment. Uh, we we had done some experiments to cultivate plants because if we want to go for a deep exploration, we really need to have uh, something to eat. Uh, but at the moment, we don't. In any case, plants grow nicely here in space. Over. You've been away from home for a long time. How's that for you? Over. Well, it's not bad because you are here working and doing something that uh, makes sense uh, for the benefit of everybody, so it's very fulfilling. Over. What do you miss most? Over. Well, uh, I feel uh, I, I miss my family, my kids, uh, but uh, I try not to miss things that, that, uh, that they are not here. Instead, there are so many things here you can discover, and that's always the case. Like you guys that you are in this uh, camp, uh, Izotenko 2017, you're Bula, you're building your youth castle, you're doing all sorts of crazy things, and you're not missing home because you're looking at some other stuff, and this is what we're doing here in Spain. Over. Uh, the first three questions doesn't work really good. Can we uh, make them again? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> what are the current research projects that you have on board the ISS? Which experiments are you carrying out? Over. Well, we do many, many research projects in any, in every field. Uh, we have in our six months, uh, uh, we have about 300 experiments. Today I was working in, in an experiment that checks uh, muscle and how the muscle responds to microgravity. Over. What skills do, do you need to become an astronaut and how do you acquire them? Over. Well, today you need a technical uh, uh, degree or uh, well, a technical degree and uh, you acquire them by doing what you like. This is essentially what you need to do. Pick a field, uh, be good at it and, uh, and then try to become an astronaut. Over. What was the most important or the most spectacular scientific discovery made on the ISS up to now? Over. Well, difficult to say. We, we've made a lot of Thank, thank you for the uh, for ISS for the contact. And 73 from Delta Papa 9, Sierra.